Hey, this is Kevin Daly, the sports ferret from Academy FM, and this evening I'm down at the Three Hills, and I'm joined by Gillingham Ladies Captain Lauren Williams. Hello, Lauren. How are you? Hello, good, thank you. How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Now, now, I've just been watching you putting a load of young girls through uh, their paces at football. Tell me exactly what's going on. Uh, so basically, we're um, part of M&M Academy. Uh, we're trying to get some some young girls coming down to play football. Uh, we figure that there's probably a gap um, where children can come down, especially sort of the girl side of things um, after the World Cup. Um, and the success of the England ladies team um, just so we can give them an opportunity to play and have fun and, and be around other girls playing football as well So Now you've got some fantastic facilities now which is, must be a bonus because the 3G pitch has just opened I know, yeah, it's, um, I come down here a couple of weeks ago and it's my first time I've been down here since a little little girl so it's changed massive amounts and it's just it's absolutely fantastic for the, lo the local area to have this facility so. Okay, so what are the aims of what you're trying to do then? Uh, are you trying to get some teams together? Yeah, I mean we, we're going to see how it goes but we want to try and get as many girls as we possibly can uh, involved and if that means we can um, put, put some teams together and take the teams uh, out, the, out the local area and play um, other academies then, then that'd be per perfect and um, again another really good opportunity for the young girls. Okay so who's actually behind this incentive? Uh, so M&M Academy are behind it okay. um, so I, uh, Sammy, Sammy Moore kind of spoke to me about joining in and, and taking on the girls side of things which is you know, an absolute privilege and, and, and thanks to him because he you know, for him to approach me, I've, I've absolutely loved being here for the, for the past couple of weeks and I'm really enjoying it at the moment. So. Okay, so I mean, the World Cup, well, we know it was a fantastic venture. It kept us all up at, late at night <laughs> and we all, were, we were all late for work, but yeah. uh, um, that sparked another enthusiasm um, in, in ladies' football. Uh, do you think this might have helped you? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, for our first session, we had 23 girls come down, which was absolutely fantastic, off the back of um, of the World Cup. And, and the girls seem really enthusiastic. They're looking forward to, to training. Um, they've got brilliant role models looking up to the England ladies team and yeah what what a World Cup they had so really okay. really good okay so let's recap then Lauren we're trying to get these ladies football off the ground so uh, w where when and what you know when is it what nights and stuff like that so we're at the Free Hills um, sports park in Folkestone and um, on Monday evenings um, and, and the girls can come along and j just enjoy football there's no pressure there's, there's nothing to sort of worry about be scared about they just come in pressure free come and have some fun um, and, and enjoy playing football. Okay, and have M&M got a Facebook page? Yep, yep, they've got a Facebook page. Um, so if you type M&M Football Academy into Facebook, um, then they'll come keep up. Keep up their thing, yep. yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Lauren. Thank you for the time, taking the time to speak to us. Yeah, and you. how's your season going to go? Do you think you're going to have a good run this year? I hope so. I hope so. We've got a new manager. Um, so we've recruited lots of really nice um, young players that are, that are going to be the driving force of our team, hopefully. And... Um, yeah, it's looking good so far. Okay, well thanks for taking the time to speak to no us problem. and good luck for the season. Thank you very much. Thank you.